Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while. Um, I haven't filmed since in like, I want to say like a week, maybe even two weeks. And I was really debating whether I just wanted to stop this channel honestly, but I do enjoy doing it. So I decided that I'm going to continue it. I also, you can't really see it anymore, but I strained this eye, so I was not able to edit or anything. Like, I wasn't on my computer hardly at all to try and heal my eye a bit because, obviously, I still need to work, so I've been wearing my blue light glasses. Yeah, so that's just my little update. If you're new here, hi, I'm Haley. I work as a data analyst, and I make a lot of lifestyle content about books work and whatever else I feel like filming. <laughs> so that's my little life update. For work, I finally finished all the data visualizations and everything like that. So that's all done. And I'm now, I don't want to jinx it, but work has been slow. Knock on wood. So I've been able to actually work on projects and stuff like that, that I, some of which I haven't even looked at since like the end of last year or even the end of last summer honestly because this project has taken up a lot of my time and it takes a lot longer working from home I found especially because I only have the one monitor and not two monitors um I don't have any meetings today today's gonna be fairly boring but I think what I'm gonna do is later on I'll, I'm gonna go over all of the books that I read in April I want to try and incorporate book stuff into like these more daily vlogs instead of making an entire video dedicated to just books but yeah um I went for a walk this morning I'm trying to get back and I, I feel like every single vlog that I've done lately I'm just trying to get back on track and it just hasn't happened because I honestly just have no motivation. We're in like the third lockdown stage in Ontario and it's really hard to be on social media and see everyone. Basically it feels like the entire world except for us is back. I know that's not the case but it's back to normal because everyone's getting vaccines and it's hard being still in a lockdown. Not even like any sort of freedom. <laughs> it feels like but so my mental health has not been the greatest lately and my productivity and everything has definitely suffered because of that so I'm trying to get back on track I went for a walk this morning Steven and I are gonna work out over the next couple of vlogs I'll take you through what I'm planning on doing on different days I was thinking of maybe doing a vlog week like uh, Kenzie Elizabeth I don't know if anybody watches her obviously she's a huge youtuber but what she like vlogs every day for a week like it uploads it sort of like vlogmas but like just for one week so i'm thinking about maybe doing something like that we'll see but i don't honestly know if i would have time to be able to do that so i'm just cl finally cleaning out my emails and just working on projects like data cleanup and things like that for more data visualization projects but stuff that are not that don't happen every single year more things that are fun if you can call it that but i will update you guys later when there is something more interesting going on i just wanted to have a little chat at the beginning of this vlog to give you a life update life has been quite boring <laughs> that's the life update i'm gonna go back to work and I'm probably gonna make myself a tea soon because the coffee is just not doing enough for me right now. And I need more caffeine. Hello. <laughs> I, it's the afternoon now. I'm just finishing, just finishing lunch and I'm getting back to work now. Feeling very tired, so I'm gonna make myself a second cup of coffee soon. But I just wanted to come on here and update you. Um, yeah, I just have been working on the same thing all day. It's probably going to take me a while 
I'm just slowly trying to remember where I was on a lot of these projects before, so that's what I'm really doing right now. Um, sort of cleaning up data, feeling like like this. That's how I'm feeling. And it's a dark and gloomy day outside. It doesn't look like it really in this, but I don't know if but it is. So I don't really have anything to update you guys on because I'm still doing the exact same thing as I was earlier, but I will talk to you guys again later about the books I read for the month and other, and I'm going to watch some Criminal Minds while I do this because I'm back on my, where I don't have to like 100% concentrate, like, so I can have it on in the background and still get work done, if that makes any sense. Let's go do that. I'm gonna go get a coffee and then I'm gonna get back into work. Okay, so I'm done work now. We ended up having like an impromptu meeting at three because there's like change in management. So we were just talking about that in a team meeting. And um, Steven and I are not going to work out anymore tonight because honestly, I'm just not feeling up to it. I've got really bad cramps right now. So I'm not feeling the greatest, but I figured I'd do a little monthly wrap up. Um, I did talk about like some of these books in like a mid month reading update vlog but I kind of don't want to just include them into regular day in my life vlogs from now on so I'm gonna try and go through this as quick as possible but let's just hop right into it and let me know if you'd rather if I instead of doing like monthly if you'd rather have like a weekly like reading um in in daily vlogs like whether you'd rather see them like what I read in a week and what I thought of them and all of that instead of just like a huge at the end of the month what I ended up reading this month I ended up reading 14 bucks which is insane I beat my last month which was already a record for me but I did listen to a lot of audiobooks this month and that's really why I ended up reading so many is just because I listened to I think four different audiobooks and those so those went by really quickly because I listened to them while I was working and stuff some days so so the first book that I read at the end of this month is A Court of Mist and Fury so if you haven't read this series this is the second book in the series and I'm gonna read the back really quickly and also um but I'm going to say that there's spoilers. If you don't want spoilers, just skip to the next book. First one I did was, read was A Court of Mist and Fury. I gave this 4.5 out of 5 stars just because the beginning of this book in comparison to the end of the first book is really jarring. The, the characters go through like a major story arc without actually being in the story. So... It was just really jarring to read like that the characters did like a total 180 in between books so that's why I gave this uh 4.5 out of 5 stars but I'm in love with Bryson now he is a way better character than Tamlin anyways so but I did like Tamlin at the end, beginning of the book, first book so it was very jarring to see that he's actually a huge dick and Feyre just had friggin' Stockholm Syndrome, so. Okay, and then the next book that I read was Chain of Iron. This is the second in the Last Hours series within the Shadowhunters universe. I love this book. My heart is broken at the end. I just need the next book to come out because I need to fi figure out if Cordelia ends up staying with Matthew or if she ends up with James and I just feel so bad for Matthew too I just feel like he he's so hard on himself and he deserves to be to have, like find happiness and I hope 
either I don't but I also want Cordelia to be with James so I don't know what I want to happen in the third book but I'm really excited to see what happens this book was so good but if you're one of those people who doesn't like when people are constantly like keeping secrets from one another and things could probably be solved if you just talk to each other then you probably won't like this series but I love the all Shadowhunter books because they're just comfort reads to me now. So the next book I read was Shadow and Bone, Bone which was the first in the Shadow and Bone trilogy because the Netflix series is coming out but I only read the first book this series this um, month and I needed to read all three books plus the first of Six and Crow Six of Crows to be able to watch the show without any spoilers. So I haven't started watching the show yet, but maybe next month. I really like this book. I gave it four out of five stars just because um, I didn't really like Alina and I really didn't like Mal. I know that's probably an unpopular opinion with the this series. Everyone loves Mal and then I think some people like the Darkling, but I know you're not supposed to like him because he's evil, but also him and Alina have way better banter and I just liked them in the book more than her and Mal, but I guess I'll find out in the next book. I have heard that you end up hating Mal in the next book, but I really I already don't like him, so I think he wants her to like stamp out her light and like I don't really like he's trying to make her smaller than she is in my opinion whereas Darkling is making trying to make her bigger than she is but so that's why I think I like the Darkling better and also why I didn't like Alina is because she just kept like she kept making herself so small and I really like strong powerful female characters and I just didn't find that she was that so maybe I'll like her better in the next book but we'll see man this is gonna be a long video just me talking I'm sorry okay and then the next book that I read is the throne of glass doesn't that sound just so good I give this five out of five stars I loved it I think I liked it better than Akatar and people say that the first and second book of these series are the worst ones in the series so I'm really excited to get further into the series. Um, I was buddy reading this series with people so that's why I only read the first book this month but we decided we're all just gonna read at our own pace because some people have already read like seven of the all seven of the books and then some of us like me have read one and then some of us didn't even end up reading the first book so we all decided we're just going to read at our own pace and then just chat about it in the group as we go. But I loved Selena. I people are saying that she's like cocky and like like yeah, she's literally the best assassin. Of course she's cocky and like who cares if it was a guy character? Would you be saying that? I don't know. Anyways, I loved it. I am so excited to keep reading, and keep learning about Selena because she's like my favorite character right now. Okay and the next book that I read was I listened to the audiobook of the Alice Network. Yeah I gave it 4.5 out of 5 stars because I really liked it. It basically followed to the two different storylines of being in 1915 and following Eve and 1947 where Eve is helping um, Charlie find her cousin in to see if she survived and it just really weaves together it's so well and I thought at first that it was her point of view from the second world war but I was very wrong I obviously don't know my hist historical dates because <laughs> but it was so so well written and like the two storylines weave together so perfectly because I don't always like multiple points of view but it just worked so well together that I just loved it and the only reason I didn't give it five out of five stars is because I found like the ending was really like the pacing was really off because like at like one point I was like okay are we going to actually do anything like they were like going back and forth whether they're actually going to go somewhere 
for like a few chapters and then everything wrapped up in like one chapter so I found like the pacing at the very end to be really weird and I wish that they had spent less time trying to decide what they were going to do and just given more time to what they actually ended up doing so that's why I gave that four out of five stars. Next book up that I read was Namesake which is the second in the duology of fable. I loved this book so much. So I th like I heard mixed reviews about the second book because but I loved it. I thought it was so well such a well like the ending was beautiful and it wrapped up the story so well and I just I'm really gonna miss Fable as a character. I love her so much. I find that she is so selfless and I just I'm gonna really miss her and West too. So if you are thinking about reading the Fable duology I really recommend it. It's my favorite book my favorite reads of the year for sure and then next I listened to another audiobook I listened to the kiss quotient by Helen Hong and that this book was way spicier than the like title page makes it look um but I should have known I I have a tendency to just go into books blind and not read any sort of synopsis um, about them so but once you hear the synopsis you'll understand why I just should have known that it was going to be very spicy. This book is so cute and it's just really interesting actually the author found out that like um the, actually the author found out that she was autistic when she was writing this book so it was really interesting to like see that perspective and it was good representation in a book and I just loved it. It was such a cute story. I ended up giving it four to five stars um, just because uh, the reason I didn't give it five to five stars is because I was getting really frustrated at one point because it it switched back and forth the point of view and they both were li liked each other but they just wouldn't say it to each other and so both of them thought it was just like because of this arrangement and it was just driving me nuts that neither of them talked just talked and because all their problems could have been solved if they just talked in the book so that's why I ended up giving it four to five stars what I'm holding right now I read A Court of Wings and Ruin um so this was for sure my favorite book of the Court of uh, Thorns and Roses series. I thought it was just so well written. It had everything that I wanted. It had romance. It had action. Great war scene. It had, um, it made me cry. It made me laugh. It made me, like, love all of the characters even more. And I'm really sad to be leaving, like, Feyre's point of view because the next book in the series follows her sister Nesta, who I'm not a fan of at all. So, but everyone says that you'll end up being a fan of her after the book, so I'm giving it a chance, and I'm going to read it this month, but this book was so good, and it's worth reading every other book just to get to this book alone. <laughs> five to five stars in case it wasn't obvious. And then the next book, I listened to another audiobook. I listened to The Bride Test, which is the second in the Kiss Potion series. It doesn't follow the same people, but it's follows his cousin um, Kai and his love and interest and then the third book comes out later this year and it follows Quan which is Kai's brother and Michael's other cousin for our, from the first book. I loved that book. I thought it was so cute. I liked it even more than the first one. I gave it five out of five stars and because the emotional journey that Kai went on was so beautiful and I can't wait to read Quan's story later on this summer. So the next book that I read was A Court of Frost and Starlight which is a novella in A Court of Thorns and Roses series. This one I just gave three stars to because honestly it was okay. I liked I did like to read about all the characters but I honestly could have skipped this book and I wouldn't it wouldn't have mattered it didn't add anything to the story there's a reason I never read novellas in series 
and that's it. I just didn't think it was like anything special. I liked it, but it was definitely not anything special. Okay, and then I read Ninth House by Lee Bord Bordugo, which is the same person who wrote the um, Shadow and Bone series, and I actually like this way better than Shadow and Bone. This book was so good. I, I actually loved it a lot more than I thought I would because it is was a book club pick, so it wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was going to end up liking it, but but I loved it. I loved the magic system. It is really confusing at first because just to get into it and you can't you need to figure out what the heck is going on um but I love the magic system and it's one of those books that you feel like something like nothing's really happening sometimes but every single little thing that happens ends up being coming around in the end so you really need to pay attention on this book and I loved that Alex wasn't like this perfect human being and that she was like really complex and misunderstood and it took honestly the entire book to really understand her as a character too it wasn't just like the magic system you weren't you didn't really know but also the character of Alex and you kept like finding little things about her throughout the book I just think it was so well written and apparently the next one is going to be coming out eventually so I will definitely be reading it when it does come out four to five 4.5 out of 5 stars because I did think that there was parts of it that were gory just for the sake of it being an adult book. The next book I read is an audiobook of Sadie. Okay, so I ended up giving this book 4.5 out of 5 stars. If you like listening to a true crime podcast or anything like this, listen to the audiobook of this. This book I honestly don't think you'd really even be able to appreciate it reading a physical copy because it follows two different storylines the following the podcast that are trying to find Sadie and then you also are hearing from Sadie and her point of view at present time so it's just really really a crazy read and um yeah you need to listen to this as an audiobook but if you like those if you like true crime podcasts, 100% you need to listen to it. It's it's so well done. So the next book I read was The Boyfriend Project by Farah Roshan. First of all, loved Samaya. She was a badass in the tech industry and I loved reading from not only a woman's point of view in the tech industry, but a woman of color in the tech industry and like the hardships and how much harder she has to work to be taken seriously in the industry and it's just I really loved her as a character who I didn't love was Daniel the love interest he does redeem himself in the end but I found I just think she was way too good for him he was lying to her and being like gaslighting her and I just I didn't like him I don't um so I gave him four to five stars because I I ended up liking him sort of near the end, but I really still think that she could do so, so much better. And the final book that I read was The Deal, which is the first series, the first book in the Off Campus series. It's a sports romance. Um, didn't think I was going to like it, but I did, and I'm now reading the second one too. If you have heard of this book, you know that Garrett, the um, love in this story, is like a favorite of like book boyfriends in and honestly he's for good reason it was it was a really really cute story it was very cheesy but it was I was really in the mood for a light read because once this like summer starts I all I want to read is like romance and cheesy romance books so I really enjoyed it I gave it four to five stars because it was cheesy and I did find that some of the dialogue was very unrealistic for college students but overall I did love it and that is the end of my reading wrap up I'm so sorry that took so long I really hope this video is not like a million years long, but I'm gonna read for a while now and then I'm gonna do maybe a little cleaning before 
me and Steven start dinner for the night. But yeah, I'll take you with through the rest of the evening, but there's really not much going on tonight. Yeah, <laughs> I'll update you guys later. I need to give my voice a little bit of a break because I've been talking for way, way too long. I was kissing you with my eyes open But you said, you said, keep them closed and be in the moment So I did, I did, did my best to make you feel wanted But what about what I want? What about what I want? And what I wanted was to crash with my dumb friends on the weekend Hey guys, so I never ended this vlog So I just wanted to pop in here and end it If you made it to the end the question of the day is, the question of the day is, what do you consider your biggest achievement? Um, right now I feel like the biggest achievement I have for myself is the fact that um, we saved up enough to consider even buying a house at the, our age because I feel like that's really crazy that we might have saved up enough to actually afford a house. So I think that's my biggest achievement to date. Um, I think either that or just the fact that I was able to get a job, but that's not really an achievement, that's kind of luck. Anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you want to see more, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!